Don't worry, I'm not that mad. I mean, I am, but I'll get over it. That's a lie. I'll probably harbor this for a few months at least, and then, you know, we'll see. Oh, that's cute. Do you have an eating problem, or are you still in the second grade? <laughs> Dude, you realize my date isn't the one with the eating problem, right? <laughs> Come on, Kimberly, let's go. Kimberly! I would love to talk to you more, but your boyfriend is right. You should go. Except, he's not your boyfriend. Not yet, anyway. This is a first date because you're not used to his date, rapey cologne, as illustrated by the cute nose wrinkles hey, you've been enacting. did you enacting. not hear what I was saying? Well, unless you have a Coke problem. But you don't give off that core Coke. But you don't give off that Coke whore vibe or any type of whore for that matter, which clashes with your man's plans. Since he's thinking he's gonna get some tonight. What the fuck are you talking about? You see, he's been fidgeting with his two top shirt buttons. It's a displacement activity because he wants to show off those nice teats of his. <laughs> but it's also an unconscious desire to remove his clothes. Mm -hmm. Next step for him is to push his jacket open and hold it there by putting his hands on his hip, which is what he's doing right now. It's also a pointing gesture. We point at the parts of our body where we'd most like to be touched. Fingers played downward. He's Jedi mind tricking you to look and touch the part he is proudest of. Now what's the big deal, you ask? He wants to get laid. And perhaps so do you. But your beau's boldness didn't do him any justice today as evidenced by the tiny dry blood spot on the bottom crotch of his hipster jeans. That means he nicked it a little when grooming. Wouldn't have been a problem had he just worn underwear, which his ego didn't allow him to do, of course. Um, that's not blood. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's ketchup. Maybe it's John Lennon's cranberry sauce. Maybe it's really is whatever bullshit excuse he's gonna conjure up in a panic. All I'm saying is I'm just a guy full of maybes that's pretty darn certain that a girl as beautiful as you doesn't suck nuts on a first date especially bloody ones attached to a goateed philistine that gets his jollies from picking up on young innocent girls. <laughs> but look, I'm a realist. I know I'm only a C, maybe a C plus in the winter when I can cover up my body more and for more as much deuciness you cooze, you are attractive. It's only fair you two pair. Besides, if she's used to dating, as I can't handle that kind of pressure, so you don't have to punch me. I'll peace out. Uh, what if I want to punch you anyway? Yeah, sorry to shatter your confidence, but I get punched a lot. It doesn't really bother me. Your hand's gonna hurt though. In my face, doctor told me I have unusually strong cheekbones. Mm. But pride's at stake here. I get it. Punch anyway. Hey, I, I know the only reason you want to peace out is because you're chicken shit. That's all. <laughs>